it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Now we are going to focus on viruses. The first thing we will look at is the problem of defining viruses as being living or non-living. Viruses do not belong in the five kingdoms of life, and we need to explore why this is the case. So viruses are very basic structures composed of some nucleic acid, which could be DNA or RNA, surrounded by a protein coat, also known as a capsid. Viruses are non-cellular, and because they are not made of cells, they do not have the cell machinery for their own metabolism, and so they only grow in living tissue. Where viruses exist outside living cells, they may be considered to be non-living chemicals, since they do not display any of the characteristics of life. So for example, this means that viruses do not respire or carry out nutrition and they cannot reproduce by themselves. Once inside a living cell, they can replicate with the help of the host cell and so can be considered alive while replicating. So we can say that viruses have features of both living and non-living material. And since they can only multiply inside living cells, viruses are called obligate parasites. This means that they can only replicate inside live cells from within the five kingdoms of life. This means that they cannot be grown on agar like bacteria or fungi can. And it is also the reason why antibiotics do not work against viruses as there is no cell machinery for the antibiotic to actually damage. As parasites, viruses can cause many diseases in humans, our domestic animals and our crops. So here's what you usually need to be able to do. Describe the difficulties associated with defining viruses as being living or non-living. Explain why viruses can't be grown on nutrient agar in the way that bacteria can and explain why antibiotics do not kill viruses.